Paderewski was involved in creating new chapters in Polish and Polish-American history. And the encyclopedia, which the Polish-American Historical Association has recently completed work on and was recently published, is interested in documenting those and other chapters of Polish-American history for succeeding generations. So I think that's my transition. You know, when I go to libraries, public libraries or university libraries, I can walk in and there's an assortment of different encyclopedias on the African-American experience in the United States. A wonderful thing. There are encyclopedias on the Hispanic experience, the Asian experience, Native Americans. All wonderful books. Usually there are multiple ones. If you look at European ethnic groups, the two largest groups in the 19th century were the Germans and the Irish, both of which have a multitude of encyclopedias and dictionaries to, to support their presence. If you look at the early 20th century during the mass migration, the three largest, numerically speaking, the three largest groups coming to the United States in order were Italians, Jews, and Poles. There are Italian encyclopedias, there are Jewish encyclopedias. What am I missing? There is no, correction, there was no Polish American encyclopedia. So when your children and mine go into a library looking for a topic to write about or to read up on, or when something happens at home and they wonder what the old man is thinking and they want to go find information, no place to go. Now there is. The encyclopedia, through with the generous support of the Kosciuszko Foundation, and I must say the third federal foundation here in Cleveland as well, along with 87 other donors, individuals, and organizations, uh, made this project of four and a half years possible. 128 authors contributed, 587 pages, 1,300, excuse me, 1,238 entries, approximately 641,121 words, unless I missed one, 358 illustrations. Published by McFarland Publishers, and we did that on purpose because it doesn't do us any good to print up an encyclopedia and have it sitting in a warehouse somewhere. By going with a commercial publisher, we wanted to get this out into libraries, which of course is the main audience for an encyclopedia. And the best way to do that is to make sure that the company producing it doesn't make any money unless they sell it. This is the only reference work on Polish Americans in existence. It has three different kinds of entries, thematic, which are general essays on Polish-American literature, religious life, organizational life, politics, uh, fine arts, you know, whatever, what have you. There are topical entries, which are shorter, and those are on specific things, like the Polish Army in France, the American Council for Polish Culture has an entry, other types of organizations and so forth as well. If you don't know what punch key is, you can find out. There are biographical entries of prominent Polish Americans who either made major contributions to American history and culture or to the development of the Polish American community in the United States. Choice, the Journal of the American Library Association, in its edition that comes out next month in August, has a review of the encyclopedia in which it calls it, quote, a landmark in reference and ethnic studies, and concludes, at the end it says, conclusion, there's one word, essential. Uh, we have a few copies on sale here at $145. Uh, I trust I don't have to withstand a stampede of people over there. But what I would do is urge you to please encourage your local libraries to purchase this. Uh, we've sent out uh, hundreds of emails, announcements, and advertisements to as many libraries as we can find addresses for, but nothing works as well as a live human being patron walking in and saying, you should buy this. So in conclusion, I would just like to thank you for your attention, especially as a part of the craft promotional effort, to 
wish you an enjoyable rest of the day and to thank everybody who brought this ceremony together. It's truly a wonderful occasion and a wonderful sight with a wonderful motivation. Thank you.